Topic seven, accumulated other comprehensive income, otherwise known as AOCI. AOCI is a part of comprehensive income, but is not a component of earnings. This shows the cumulative change in related items over time, including realized and unrealized gains and losses. And this is a part of the shareholder's equity account. So I think of AOCI as items that bypass the income statement, but yet still reflect the relative growth or losses accumulated within a company. So let's look at a few of those factors that affect AOCI. AOCI can be created by a gain or loss, and each one of these must be listed separately in the financial statements. They may be due to fair value to OCI through equity financial instruments or through debt financial instruments. It may be the result of PP&E revalued when accounting using the fair value method. Cash flow hedges. As we discussed in a prior video, fair value changes through fair value um, in, that are typically captured in fair value through profit and loss financial liabilities, but are due to the credit risk and fluctuations. We'll see in a subsequent chapter um, items such as defined benefit, pension, actuarial revaluations. And in another course, probably an advanced accounting, financial accounting course, you'll see the translation of foreign operations where the functional currency is not the presentation currency. Let's look at a question. XYZ Inc. has one item that affects AOCI, a fair value through OCI security with a historical cost of 250,000 purchased in 2017. Year-end fair values for this financial instrument are as follows. In 2017, it was worth 220,000. In 2018, it was worth 290,000. In 2019, 240,000. What is the balance of AOCI at the end of 2019? If you said a debit balance of 10,000, you would be correct. Because AOCI is a cumulative account, we can simply look to 2019 and see that it is presently worth 240,000, but we paid 250,000. That means it's worth $10,000 less. So we would need to, you know, throughout the years of fluctuations, that $250,000 would now be accredited, would be credited by a net of $10,000. So decrease to the asset by $10,000. That would result in an offsetting debit to AOCI of $10,000. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.